We have a special guest today, Mr. Skipper! Say hi! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an empties video to film because I have so much empty bottles laying around that I really need to get rid of them before I move. So I'm going to go ahead and do my empties. I also have a couple of items that I'm just throwing out because either they're not working for me anymore or they're super old. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first empties that I have are two micellar waters from the drugstore. First one is the L'Oreal Sublime Soft Micellar Water. I almost didn't say that right. And the Marcel 3-in-1 Micellar Solution. Both of these are pretty good, I have to say. I was pretty impressed with them. As you can tell, I used them up pretty much completely. If I had to pick one to repurchase, it would definitely be the L'Oreal. I think this one is slightly better than this one. This one's a little bit more similar to Bioderma. Bioderma is still my favorite, but if I had to pick a drugstore one, I would pick the L'Oreal. I also have two slightly more boring items to get out of the way. I finished up another Crest Pro Health mouthwash, which is pretty much in every empties that I do. And I also finished up a tub of the One A Day Fruit Essentials Immunity Support Gummy Vitamins. I usually buy just the ones in the green tub like this, but the immunity support ones were good for the winter found it helped keep some of the colds away from me. Not all, but you know, they're still good. I also finished up a uh, container of the Head & Shoulder Smooth & Silky Shampoo. This is my first step shampoo for years and years and years. I always use a Head & Shoulders one before my styling or moisturizing color treating shampoo. So I finished up one of those. Another one that has been in my empties a lot on my channel is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. I go through these like crazy in the winter time, and this will finally be my last one until November, December. So I finished up that. Some more shower things. I also finished up my little trial sizes of the Frederick Fricai Technician Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. I really liked these. I also still have the mask in the little tub that came with this set. And I definitely would like to repurchase these, just not right away, because I have a bunch of other shampoo and conditioner to use up first. But I really like these, and I highly recommend them if you have color-treated hair like I do, because they're really good. They also smell very nice. Next I have a mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I used this up uh, at least over a month ago now. Um, I find mascaras only really last me two months. That's when I find the formula starts to change. Let's go over here. I just find that I can't really wear them anymore. They start to get itchy on me and that kind of thing. But I did really like this mascara. I've mentioned it before and I definitely do recommend. The last three empties that I have are actually really exciting. The first one I got as a uh, Beauty Insider points gift from my Sephora online order. This is the Lassie 10 Almond Shower Oil. This stuff was absolutely amazing. I definitely want to repurchase this when Sephora opens. I may not get it right away, but it's something that I definitely want to buy in full size. Even though it's an oil, it lathers up the exact same as a shower gel, and it leaves your skin so soft, and I love the scent. I love how it's still sweet and warm and comforting, but it's not sickening or gross. So yeah, I really like that stuff. And the last two are actually from Lush. Uh, the first one I finished up was the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I'm so sad to be done this. This smells amazing. Has the best bubblegum scent ever. And I find this is my favorite lip scrub. Definitely the best at slothing off all that dead skin on your lips. And it's edible and vegan too, so that's great. The last thing that I finally have to finish up with is the Cupcake Fresh Face Mask. I actually have a little bit of this left in the tub, but it's really dried out now and I find it just doesn't work the same as it used to obviously because it's a fresh product and it technically expired in February? No, March. The expiry date on this was March 15th, so naturally it has stopped working by now. But I really love this stuff. I really wish you could get a self-preserving formula of this just so I could order it online because I don't have a Lush here. The last thing that I found here in the corner hiding from me was the Enspa by Nirvana Spa Melting Cleansing Gel. This is a cleanser. It came in a box. It didn't look like this when I purchased it in the store. I got this at Walmart. It was about $13. But I haven't seen it recently, so I don't know if you can get it anymore. Um, but this is a really cool concept cleanser. This is great for removing makeup at night. Uh, what it is... It kind of goes on your skin dry as an oil, so if you apply it to your face without dampening it first, 
it kind of works like a cleansing oil, that type of texture to it. And then once you add water, it turns into this like white milky cleanser, which I thought was really cool. So, yeah, it says luxurious gel that turns into a cleansing milk. Has grapeseed oil and essential oil of neroli. I really like the scent of these products. I have a hand cream that matches the scent and it's really nice. But yeah, I found this was really good for removing makeup at the end of the day without over drying your skin. So it was perfect throughout the winter just to get all that makeup off my face. And now it's pretty much done. I can't get that bit out of the bottom if I cut it, but I, I, I don't have like a container to put the rest of it in. So I'm just going to toss it. But yeah, that was really good. I definitely recommend that cleansing gel if you can find it. Next, I have a couple of items that I didn't finish up and I need to throw away for various reasons. The first one I'm getting rid of is the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. This is just one of those self-tanners that's kind of in a product graveyard under my sink in my bathroom. I never reach for it, I don't like the scent of it, and I find it doesn't really build up good coverage like my other self-tanners do. So for that reason, I am getting rid of this. Another product that I've decided to throw away is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil-Free Foundation. I wear the shade 105. This is almost a year old now. They say you should toss out your foundations about a year after you open them. And I'm not quite a, a full year yet, but I still found when I started using this again, when the weather warmed up a bit, that the formula has definitely changed inside. I can tell it applies differently. It oxidizes a bit too much for my skin. Um, could just be too dark, but I just found the formula also looked different and it didn't perform as well as it did last uh, Like fall so for that reason I am getting rid of that. This is the origins clear improvement Active charcoal mask. I purchased this because I thought it would be a cheaper version of the glam glow clearing mud treatment um, And the first couple of times I used it I did like it, but as I kept using it over and over it's it just it stopped working like I just I don't get the results that I need for this mask and for that reason I'm just gonna get rid of it and it broke my heart because I really wanted to like it I had really high hopes for it so that was everything from my empties this time around thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it and if you've tried any of those things let me know down below what you thought of them and I'll be back with another video in a bit because I'm about to film it <laughs> bye